It's been about eight months since Clayton firefighter Jason Dean died from COVID-19, and this weekend, his wife Christy is taking on a monumental task. CBS 17's Nick Sturdivant is live at Clayton High School, and Nick, Christy Dean has been busy making sure things are ready to go for tomorrow. What's happening? Yeah, that's right, Angela. Very busy. Busy is an understatement, actually. We were here earlier here at Clayton High School as she prepared for the inaugural JD's Day of Service. Thousands of meals will be packaged here starting tomorrow morning, and she says it's something that's helping with the grieving process. The months of planning has now come down to this. It's been a very helpful distraction. Saturday, volunteers will prepare thousands of meals for people in need in partnership with Rides Against Hunger. At the inaugural JD's Day of Service, Christy Dean honoring her late husband, Jason, by serving the community just like he did for two decades, days before what would have been his 43rd birthday. So we wanted to start a tradition where we serve our community just like daddy was serving the community. Her husband, Jason Dean, was a firefighter for the Clayton Fire Department. He was among nearly 20 firefighters diagnosed with the coronavirus. He lost his battle with COVID in September. We've tried very hard to set up an event to offer a lot of opportunities to serve the community. The Clayton High teacher also says as the state moves forward with trying to get back to normal, that's also helping her push forward. I've got both of my shots fully vaccinated. Um, I'm excited that even here at school, we've been able to have some celebrations outside with students uh, without masks. It was, it was a, a relief really just to kind of exhale for, for a minute. And I hope that through the summer, uh, the state will continue to responsibly relax uh, the restrictions. I think um, any step towards normal will help us figure out what our new normal is. And again, tomorrow's event will happen here at Clayton High School by the cafeteria from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They will there will be a CPR demonstration, live music, food, fun events for the kids that come. Nick, this is absolutely wonderful. She's able to do this. How many meals are they planning to package tomorrow? Well, Angela, the goal initially when I spoke with her a few months ago was 10,000. They bumped it up to 15,000 mills and they hope to raise about $5,000 to cover it all. That's incredible and doing it in his memory. Thank you, Nick, for sharing that story.